hi everyone. Hi. Okay. Um, hi, my name is Che Sarang and I'm in middle school, second grade. Um, actually, I started this Amboim um, since two months ago, so I can't speak very well, So, but please listen well, okay? Yes. Thank you. Okay, um, today I'm going to tell you about my dream. My dream is to become a diplomat. I started to dream of becoming a diplomat when I was in fifth grade in elementary school. I happened to read a book of former UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon from the school library and became interested in being diplomat. Diplomats are government employees who are dispatched to foreign countries by government's orders. The primary role of a diplomat is to build and improve relations with the foreign host country. So I thought diplomats may have the opportunity to experience many different types of lifestyles and cultures. So this is just perfect for me as I personally love meeting new people and traveling. To become a diplomat, it is important to have the ability to speak foreign languages. So I am confident in English and I have studied English harder than any other subject. Um, uh, I'm sorry, okay, um, yeah, this subject. So I started my make efforts to fulfill my dream toward becoming a diplomat when I entered middle school. I studied harder than when, when I was in primary school because I felt that I need to spend more time on studying. Of course, I studied English the most. And I enjoy listening to pop songs and watch American dramas whenever I have time at home. For practicing speaking English, I speak English with an English teacher in Amboim. And recently, I visited the Korea Affairs and Trade Ministry with my dad and participated in a dialogue program with with an actual diplomat. It gave a chance to learn more about the diplomat. To become a diplomat, one needs a wide range of knowledge and a wide variety of foreign languages, and one needs a cool-headed judgment and a precise observation. Diplomats I met at the foreign ministry told me that the most important things are loving the people and dedication to the nation. If you are willing to talk to anyone and listen to them, you will become a perfect diplomat. So I became confident about my dream when I became more familiar with the diplomats. And um, uh, more diplomats. And a second language is required to become a diplomat. So I am going to study Chinese to meet the requirement. Actually, I lived in chi five China five years because of my parents' work. So I'm, I tried to challenge myself because I felt that I need to spend, uh, because I found it easy to study Chinese. To fulfill the goal of becoming a great diplomat, I will try my best at everything. Okay, thank you so much for listening to my story. Thank you. Are you nervous? Yeah, now I'm very nervous. <laughs> <laughs> you do a very good job. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, during your speech, you mentioned that you watched many American dramas. Yes. What was your favorite one? Uh, it is um, my favorite American drama is um, My Mad Fat Diary and uh, Switch It at Birth. Okay. You did <laughs> a very good job. Thank you. Good.